But Bruno, I'm going to start with you. You you have the opportunity here, being from Angola, to be the first Angolan-born player drafted into the NBA. Was that something that you were aware of uh, before people told you? Uh, what would that make you feel like if and when your name is called? Um, yeah, it's definitely something I'm aware of. Um, obviously, you know, playing basketball for a long time and not one person from Angola ever made it to the NBA. So, you know, I'm, I've been definitely aware of that my whole career. And obviously, I am selfishly trying to be the first <laughs> one. I think I work hard for that. Um, and, I, you know, it's just going to make me feel great, you know, just knowing that I got a whole country in my back, um, you know, just doing something that's not just going to benefit myself, but also a lot of other people at home is going to be happy for me and, and for Angola as a whole. Yeah, have you taken inspiration from the way the game has become more global? We see players like Joel Embiid, Pascal Siakam, Serge Ibaka from all over the world, and now Africa specifically, that are getting into the NBA, getting that opportunity. Has that been what's inspired you to chase your dream? Yeah, for sure. Um, just definitely seeing a lot of the players from places like Angola, like players from Congo, like uh -huh. Ibaka, and like Cameroon, Joel Embiid, like you mentioned. And I, you know, just obviously seeing those players and just, you know, thinking that they were, you know, in my shoes before, you know, if they able to do that, then I'm, de I'm definitely able to do that. So that makes it a lot easier for me to just, you know, think of myself and, and just, you know, put higher standards to right. where, you know, I'm definitely able to achieve that dream.